This is a bit of a sad video to make. If you have been following this channel, you notice that there wasn't that many videos lately. And the reason is that I have a day job. I teach and most of the time it's fun and rewarding, but it's also exhausting and time intensive. Mainly because I don't want to be that teacher that we all despised, that never came prepared and that never gave a crap. And due to reasons that we are painfully aware of during the last 14 months, everything got a bit more complicated, a bit more exhausting and a bit more time intensive. And I know a lot of people had it way worse and a lot of people lost their jobs, which is of course way worse. And I'm not complaining, I'm just offering an explanation for what happened and what's going to happen next. And sitting, sitting down to be creative after a long day at work is hard, but what is even harder is being at work and not being able to work on these ideas that you have right away. It's actually pretty painful. If you are a creative person, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Here's a few examples of what I had planned but couldn't do. Heavier than metal space wolves, anyone? Grimdark painting tutorial? No, that's an OSL video that's never going to be made. Wonder what this could have been. A couple of space marines. Tutorial on how to paint white armor, didn't happen. Here's a couple of things. Iron Warriors, Necrons part two. And then of course there's this. Tons of vampire and undead videos. And then of course, there's this little box. And as I was looking through this massive pile of shame, looking at ideas that never happened, videos I wanted to make but couldn't, minis I could not paint, I made a decision. And the decision was to quit. I quit my day job to do miniatures full time. And it's a little bit sad because I love teaching. I will miss my students because I love working with young people and trying to help them find a place in life. But there simply is not enough time in the day to work two jobs that demand 110% dedication. So what me focusing on miniatures from now on means is that I have a lot more time to create content videos, PDF guides, and most of all, I can finally go back to doing my own sculpts, working for my range of miniatures, and I'll document all of this in video form. Quitting my job, however, means income has to come from somewhere. And what the current view account and income tells me is that I need to make better videos. So I made a list of things related to running a YouTube channel that I'm good at and things that I'm not good at. One thing you need to be really good at if you have a YouTube channel is marketing. And the problem is I'm really bad at marketing. Titles, thumbnails, search engine optimization, all of this I need to improve. So why not go to an expert that is really good at all of these things to get some help? Hey friends. Hey, can I ask you a couple of questions? Anything you want. Great, so I was wondering, how did you manage to grow your channel so quickly? I created a couple of Fiverr videos. I see. Are you making sure there's anything in particular in the title when you make a video? Fiverr. Right, right. Anything else or just? Fiverr. Right. Do you have any other tips for me, like what I could do to grow my own channel? Create a Fiverr account. Got it. Thanks a lot for the input. Have a great day. You too. Bye. Bye. Obviously, I'm joking, but I actually want to thank Squidmire because he always helped me with advice in the past on my videos and whenever I had a question. Also, a massive thank you to Guy from Midwinter Minis for having me in one of his videos. That video alone probably brought me 20,000 new subs. One of the reasons I'm also bad at marketing is because of my creative workflow. I don't like to start with a title that has all the buzzwords and then do a video around that. 
because I want to do what I'm good at, which is mini painting, and then make a video around that somehow. Just looking at my own channel, this becomes evident. I had a few videos that performed really well in the past, but the most successful ones are not necessarily me painting something. But no one wants to watch people paint minis for an extensive amount of time. For videos, it's always better to tell stories around miniatures you painted, new things you tried, and accidents that happen while doing so. So I also need to get better at storytelling. Bottom line of this video is, I have not found my YouTube voice yet. And even though I have a couple of videos that work for me and my audience, but I certainly don't want to just make feedback videos. However, I have certainly found my passion because I'm also good at teaching miniature painting. That means I will always try to teach you something with my videos, but I will also have to experiment with what else works on YouTube. What works for you, the audience, while I still have fun with creating. I just like to take time with my creations. It's what I enjoy and ultimately you should do what you enjoy. Because I'm starting to stress out. I'm, I'm starting to stress out over getting, like, getting videos done. Uh, which means, you know, because I need to paint miniatures or build stuff and it sort of takes time. What's up with the speed painting thing? And in the meantime, the hardcore teaching videos will also continue on Patreon. Okay, class. Who's ready for two exciting hours of color theory? Because that is what's paying the bills right now until maybe YouTube can catch up a bit. So moving forward, what does all of this mean for the channel? There'll be content every Friday. My goal is to upload a video every other Friday and every week there isn't a video, there's going to be a live stream where you can ask questions and we'll do community challenges and so on. I'm sure, however, there'll be some months where I can do an upload every Friday. But for now, this is the schedule I want to stick to and that I can stick to without working myself to death. It still kind of makes sense to sub and activate the notifications if you haven't yet, just to know what's going to happen each week. Oh, and uh, there'll be a video for this Friday. Here's a little teaser. So I'm looking forward to the next few months. It's going to be exciting to try out new video skills and tools to make better videos. But most of all, it's exciting to finally be able to just slap paint around again. So thanks a lot for all your support, for watching my videos, buying my PDF guides and sculpts. And thanks to everyone who uses my affiliate links and everything else that has helped me trying to make this leap of faith. And I'll see you next Friday with a new video. Bye.